on-the-job training. I'm Joe Downs for the Aces Insider. Making the jump from high school basketball to the Division I college hardwoods is never an easy one, but thanks to the injury plague that ran through the University of Evansville men's basketball team back in December, several first-year players got their feet wet on some big, big stages. And now that the injured players are back, those first-year stars are starting to shine a little brighter just in time for the conference schedule. When you look at KJ and uh, you know I think the experience that he, he he was able to get earlier in the year I mean he's playing with a lot of confidence and uh, really buying in to, to some of the things the coaches are asking for. Uh, Noah I'd say you know the same thing uh, you know his experience I think gave him confidence you know he's he's battled the injury bug here a little bit lately but it was nice to see I mean he played really well you know, in the Bradley game. Uh, Kuhlman, same thing. Uh, you know, we've, we've noticed as he's become healthier uh, that, that, you know, he's, he's become more confident. I mean, confidence is such a fickle thing, and it goes and comes so quickly. But, but uh, you know, right now I would, I would agree with you. I, I think that, that those guys having the opportunities early have, have really helped them now. If they get hurt, you know, it's time to step up. I think it helped us a lot. Um, in terms of on-the-job training, I mean, you know, it's we're here to play ball, and you go out there and we play ball. Um, uh, I think it, you know, it really helped, uh, you know, me and the other guys. KJ played a lot, and he's still playing a lot. You know, we both getting some minutes, and I think it really helped us grow as a team. I think it was very, very important. Uh, it kind of just gives us more confidence, knowing that we can be impactful players when we get in there, and just more experience. I think is always going to be better. Oh, definitely. You know. I think that was one of the silver linings for Ryan being out is Noah got a chance to step up, play a starting role, play about 30 minutes a game. And really, you know, he got thrown into the water. And I thought he did a great job, you know, and it's really showing now, you know, he doesn't have any of that timidness. He's not afraid. He's been in those situations before. And I thought Evan did a great job, too, you know, going down there, banging bodies, uh, finishing tough, rebounding. Uh, they're just smart guys, and then having that experience in the pre, you know, pre Valley season, you know, has really helped them heading into the Valley season. The jump from high school to college is huge, no mm -hmm. matter what the college level is. Jumping up to D one is even tougher. Did you was it was it kind of tough for you at first? <clears throat> yeah, uh, I think like intensity wise, the expectations are a lot higher when you get to college basketball, and just like talking, all the little things are a lot more important. The game's faster, uh, everybody just seems to be more athletic, quicker. Yeah, it's a huge step up. Uh, the game's faster, everybody's stronger, everybody's bigger, you know, everything is more, you know, attention to detail, getting all the little things right so that you can uh, go out there and be successful. It's a lot different. You know, there's times in the game where Noah's telling me things that he saw that I didn't see, you know what I mean? So. That was big, having Noah tell me something that I didn't see, and then I'm telling Noah things that he doesn't see. And so then it just makes us a way better team. I think I'm starting to figure out, you know, the, the way to play out there, how a coach wants me to do things, and I'm just trying my best to, you know, do what he wants me to do. I definitely think we both benefited highly from it. I'm just, again, the experience, just getting out there, being more aggressive. Like, yeah, I think definitely benefiting both of us. The Aces now hope that the learning curve that those first-year players on will continue upward as they get set to take on the preseason favorite in the Missouri Valley Conference, Missouri State, Wednesday night at the Ford Center. For the Aces Insider, I'm Joe Downs. And remember, you can keep up with all things Evansville Athletics on GoPurpleAces.com as well as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and our YouTube channel.